Excellent. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. My name is David Limright. I'm an artist, teacher, coach, and mentor, and author now of a book that I've written called Create Anyway. Um, I'm a figurative artist, but I've been uh, wanting to do a little bit of uh, a small series of, of dress paintings, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to paint a dress today for you rather than a, than a figure. Um, I'm calling these dresses remnants for now. It's a new little series I'm working on. Um, so there's lots of ways to paint with acrylics, hundreds of ways to use acrylics, to manipulate them, to paint with them. I'm gonna keep it very simple today. Uh, I'm gonna focus on three things. One, I'm gonna mix grays with the complements, all right? The complements are yellow, purple, orange, blue, and red and green, plus black and white. And I'll explain that as I, as I work along. So the idea is to create colorful grays using the complementary colors, okay? I'm gonna focus on layering, I'm gonna build the layers up. Uh, and optical blending, and that is not physical blending, it's just putting one color sort of next to and on top of another, and you, the eye blends them optically, okay? Um, so I've started with a mid-tone brown, uh, uh, mixed with blue and orange, and some white, and then I've done a drawing on top of that, and we're gonna, we're gonna go from there. Um, one of the things that I wanna mention is that we've got a code for you to use, and the code is David30, and uh, that means in the next three days, at the end of the business day on Monday, you can come in to Art Central, use the code David30, uh, and you'll get 30% off of any Liquitex paints. That, so that's for the next three days. Okay, so there's that. Um, so I'm keeping it very simple. Uh, I've got, a, I've got a, 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 my palette of colors. I'm not, they're gonna run, so I'm not gonna turn them up. Uh, and I've organized them in across from each other into the complements. Uh, yellow, purple, orange, blue, red, green, and then I've got black and white. I'm using only synthetic brushes. That's my favorite brush, as opposed to a bristle brush, which is a much stiffer brush. I'm going with synthet synthetics. I use filberts, uh, which are br brushes that come to more of a rounded point. I've got one flat that I'll use for backgrounds. Um, I'm using a spray bottle to keep the paints uh, moist. I'm gonna do all my color mixing up here. I'll put my paint swatches here and, until I get what I want, then I'll paint on the, on the figure. I'm using two buckets of water, one to get dirty, and one as a rinse for my, for my brushes. Um, some paper towels, and that's it. Keeping it simple today. So uh, th we're, gonna, we're, gonna jump, we're gonna jump right in. So I've got, the, I've got the middle value. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work down to darks, and I'm gonna work up to lights, okay? Um, first thing I'm gonna do is block in um, the shadows of the dress. Uh, and I'm just going to be making this up from, from now on. I drew it from a sketch, but I'm gonna, I, I, I've got my basic thing mapped out. Um, so I'm going so to do the shadows on the dress from an orange-blue perspective. Um, uh, when, when you're mixing grays from complements, uh, you know, technically you're supposed to be able to mix a certain amount of orange and a certain amount of blue and make a neutral gray. And, and, and science says that you shouldn't be able to tell what colors you, you used to mix, to mix those grays. With the commercially, with the, with the manufactured paints that we have today, as opposed to the natural paints, it's kind of hard to do, but that's, that's the goal. And conversely, I can skew that. I can use more blue than orange and make it a cooler gray, and I can use more orange than blue and make it a warmer gray. Adding white to that mixture will lighten it, but the white will also help gray it down. And in, but lighten it up, and adding a little bit of black to that mixture will add to the grayness, but it will darken it down. So you'll see, you'll see what, I, what I mean when I, when I start. So I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, so I'm gonna mix my shadow, my initial shadow dress color, so you can see. Can we see that all right? Can you see that? In the, doing okay? Okay, so I'm gonna skew it a little bit cooler. All right. So that's, that looks like that. And, but if I add some white to it, you can see how it grays it down. You. So I want to add more blue to that because I want it to be cooler. So I'm going to go cooler. That's probably a pretty good shadow color. I'm going to mix it. I'm going to go cool again with it. There we go. Is that going to be dark enough? Let's see. Yeah. So let's put that on. Block in the shadows loosely. Uh, I got lost here. Yeah, I like. Oh, there you go. See, I could change that color and make it even bluer. 
but it's still a gray. I mean, look at all the different colors I've made just doing that. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So I, I could cool it here. If I want it to be cool down there. Okay, that's roughly the shadow shapes blocked in. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the background. I'm going to come back into the ground. We're going to keep going back and forth between the dress and the background. So the background, I want it to be even cooler, but I want it to be a little bit lighter. So I'm going to, I'm going to, what colors did I say I was going to do on the ground? Purple and yellow. All right. So, oh, by the way, colors, I forgot to mention. I'm using a cad yellow medium. I'm using deoxazine purple. I'm using cad orange, a cad red medium, and I'm using permanent green light. Now, the deoxazine purple is very, very dark. So I added just a little bit of white to it so that I could see the color of purple. It almost looks black when you squeeze it out of the tube. So I added, that's why it looks a little bit, looks a little bit lighter there than what you might normally see as a deoxazine purple. So I'm gonna add some yellow to that, but I want it to be cool, so I'm not I'm gonna watch the yellow. I'm gonna get some more yellow in there. Oh, look at there. Okay, that's probably pretty good. See, that's pretty dark, but that's nice. You can see with that. So if I add some white to that, you can see it brings the color out. It lightened it up. That's a little too purple for me, so I'm gonna add a little bit of more. There we go. There we go. See, that's another color there. Pretty. See, I just that was the original color. I just added a little bit of white to it. So that's that's going to be a good start for a ground. I could paint the whole ground this color, but I'll probably just for fun. See, it's getting, I've got, had some purple on that brush, so let me, let me add a little bit of white. And you know what, while I've got that green up there, I'm going to throw a little green on just for the head, just to change the color a little bit. I'm painting over into my green shadow color, so I can control the edges a little bit. changing this ground as we go along too, but this is at least going to give me a start with a ground color. I'll leave some of the original ground so we can see that uh, as we progress for the heck of it. All right, so that's my ground color for now. For hey now. Dave, we got a question. Okay. People are asking uh, if you're using acrylic, what kind? I'm, oh, I'm using Liquitex exactly. acrylics. I'm sorry. Did I not say that? No, you did. I think you may have joined a, a little <laughs> bit late. I'm using Liquitex hard body uh, or heavy body acrylics. Part of the reason why I'm using heavy body is so that I can work on a palette uh, up vertically like this. I'm using very little water today, everybody. Just enough water to get my brushes wet. Uh, so that's why I didn't really start with a wash. I'm going, going right thick. Um, but there you go. Liquitex. Cool. Yeah. All right, so now what I'm going I'm to do is I'm going to block in the lights on the dress, okay? And I'm going to do a red-green mixture because um, I want the lights to be a little bit warmer. So let's try. Let's get some red on there. Let's get some green in there. Now, see that color is like right there. So I want it redder, and I think... We're gonna put a lot of a lot of white in on this. So let's go to the side here. Oh yeah, see that went that went. That's a beautiful gray. It's not as it's not as I'll just put that right there. Gorgeous color, but not quite as warm as I want it. So let's add a little bit of pink to it. Did that make a difference? Yeah, that made a difference. Okay, so let's see. Is it okay? That's good. So this is gonna be our our lights. What I'm doing is I'm just blocking in the big shapes now. I'm 
painting this color. Whoops! I'm painting this color over on t you know into the green, so that I'm not outlining around things. You know, just for fun, I'm going to uh, right. Let's have a little fun. I'm going to go a little bit redder there. Put a little bit of white back into that. It's going to be awfully pink, but that, that's okay. Let's, let's put a little bit of color there. You can see the difference there. Let's, uh, I keep going down there with my paint. Okay. All right. All right. So now, I, I, so I've got the I've got the lights blocked in on the dress. I've got the darks blocked in. I'm staying all in sort of middle tones right now. Uh, I'm going to gradually light the dress and gradually or the lights of the dress and gradually darken the darks. But I don't like that background now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna change that. I want it to be a little more neutral and gray. It's got too much color in it for me. So what did we use to mix the background? Blue and orange. Okay. So let's. Probably because I want it to be more of a neutral gray. That's pretty color. Great color. So maybe I should use some of that. What the heck, huh? This is the way I kind of like to work. Is that I sort of have an idea of where I'm going, but then I go and I just see what happens. So I want to I want to gray that down a little bit more. This is the way I mix color too. By the way, is I just mix it and then I put I, I put a few stru strokes on there, and then my eye tells me, you know, oh yeah, that's working, that's not working. Rather than spending all this time on my palette here trying to mix the perfect color, I try to mix the best color that I can, the color that I think that comes closest to what I have in my head. Mix it, put it on within one or two strokes. I know I know whether it's working or not, and then I can make the adjustment. Um, it, 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 I've just put another. I've just put another layer on too, so it's not. It's, it's no big deal. I'm gonna slip a little bit of black into this. You gotta be careful when you start using black. But I wanna. I wanna really neutralize this a little bit. So I'm being extra cautious. Okay. So there's that. So you can see the difference there. It's, it's a little bit green. My background is still wet too, so I'm. Yeah. Soften some edges here. Yeah, okay. Okay. Let's lighten that up some more, even. Let's add a little more black in there. Again, I'm, I'm trying to get away from the, the green. I could add, a, since it's going so green, I could add the complement in there too. Let's add a little bit of red in there. That'll help knock the green down. I think I put too much red in, but we'll put that color. You can see, oh, there you go. That's a nice gray. That's grayer than I thought it was going to be. So I want to get rid of some of this purple. Because the purple is kind of killing it for me. And I like working from the figure to the background, from the figure to the background, back forth, back forth. Anyway, that keeps, sort of keeps me honest, you know? I don't mind this dark up here. I'll leave that for now. I'm going to go back into the dress now. And I'm going to go back into the shadows, and I'm going to go a little bit darker in the shadows. So I want to mix. Is that still wet? Can I use that? I can. So that's too green, obviously. So let's put a little bit of red in there. Let's add a little white. If it gets too dark and you have a hard time seeing the color, just add a little bit of white into it. It'll tell you what the color is. It's kind of going brown. Let's see. Yeah, that's not that's not doing anything. Okay. Okay. So 
where was the color? Here. All right, so I want to go a little bit darker. So I'm going to add a little bit of a blue into that just to see what that does. That's nice. There you go. That's a better dark. Is that too dark? going to hit some of the darker areas. Add a little bit of darkness. That's looking good. I kind of liking that. Oops, I got some white on there. Okay. You can see I'm not doing a lot of blending. I'm just overlapping the brush strokes. I'm just, I call that optical blending. Instead of spending a lot of time just blending, 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 um, I'm just putting one stroke on top of another. The paint is still a little bit wet, so I'm getting a little bit of a blend there. But you can see how everything is sort of still staying in this middle value. That dark that I just put on the dress pushed the dark a little bit. So now let me do that on the lights and push that a little bit, and then we'll go back and hit that background again. It's not rocket science, it's just paint. It's just trying stuff, you know, mixing colors. You can see all the beautiful colors we're getting already just from the, the gray mixtures. And if you look at the palette, as opposed to the painting, it, you, it's hard to, it's like, oh my God, you painted that with those bright colors? So that's kind of cool. So let's go, uh, let's, I'm gonna make this a little bit of a warmer red by putting some orange into the red. Then I'm going to put a little bit of green into it just to knock it down a little bit. I'm going to go back. I think I put a little bit too much orange in. Let's put a little bit of white in there, see what we're getting. See what that white does, how that helps. Well, you know what color, what this will be good for? This is not as light as I wanted, but this will be a good transition color. So I'm going to put that between the darks and the, and the lights and that'll help make the transition. By the way, I'm not gonna end up with a finished painting today probably. I'm just, really what I'm trying to show you guys is how to mix colorful grays. So don't expect a, you know, a, a, a miracle of a painting at the end. Um, See, that's going to help me make my, my transition over into the lights. That's nice. Okay. I just, is it a little too spotty? Sometimes things can be too spotty, so I like to try to connect them where I can. That's pretty good. Okay. Now, let's go back and see if I can mix uh, what I was trying to mix before, which was a lighter dress color. Still gray. I'm gonna gray that down. There we go. Gray down. Look at how pretty that is. Let's see. Oh yeah. exactly hit it right, it's no big deal. Uh, so I don't worry about if I, I try to mix enough that I, that, I, that I use, but that I can use, but if I don't quite hit it, it's going to be close enough. So I don't, I don't worry about it too bad. See, that's pretty close. It was a little pinker, but I'm still not happy with 
against that background at all. And you know what? I want to reshape this. Shape that with the ground. I'll show you. I'll show you how to do that. I messed that up. Okay. All right. So I still want to go lighter with the background, but I still want to go grayer. I might just mix it with a white and black, um, or maybe I'll start with that. I don't want to. That's just a gray made of black and white. Not very interesting. You see, we're making much more interesting grays than that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cool that down a little bit. Still keep it light, though. See, that, that, made, a little, that made a little cooler, a little cooler gray. So I'll tell you what. Let's, let's do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back into the ground and I'm going to reshape the, the collar of this dress. That's better. Get rid of this purple. I think that's messing me up here. So let's get rid of that. That's already better. People are loving the techniques you're using there. Good. Yay. <laughs> so now I'm going to mix that again. I ran out of that background color, but I'm going to go a little bit bluer with it. <clears throat> Bring some blue. Oh, you can see how that's, that's even a little bit bluer. show you so here if I put if I put extra blue on there see that's too blue now for me you know it's a nice blue but it, it's too blue so I'm gonna go back complement of blue is orange so I'm gonna go back gray that blue down put a little bit of orange in there add some white back in it because that'll gray it down even more now that even made another different gray color Pretty. Look at all those colors that we've made just in the just in the grays. So I'm, right now I'm just sort of using the background to redefine the dress a little bit. Redraw it a little bit. I know this background's taking a little bit of time, but we gotta we gotta we gotta do it. going back and forth between this ground. I want to hang on to that, some of that dark purple, but I'm so I'm going to hang on to it for a little bit. I'll get rid of it over here. Background's becoming more interesting. It's We're starting to get some variation into it, some variety into it. So that's good. We'll leave the background for now. I'm going to go back into the dress now. And I'm going to play around. Um, let's see, do I want to add one more dark before I do that? Let's do one more dark in the in the, in the, on the side of the dress. So the dress, the, the shadows, what was I doing on the shadows? Oh, blue and orange, okay. Eh. Oh well. We'll go right into that. <coughs> mm, boy, that really darkened it up. Yikes. It's kind of greenish too, huh? I'm gonna go a little bit bluer. That's a little bit too dark. So let me add a little bit of white into that to bring the color back out of that a little bit. 
Anytime your mixtures get too dark, just put a little bit of white in. It'll tell you exactly what color you've got. It'll lighten it a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah, that's pretty. Look at that. That almost looks like a gray made out of black and white. Uh, so I, I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> I want a little bit of cooler. <laughs> okay. I'm still getting this really. looks gray. Oh, that's pretty. But that's, that's getting a little too light. So, let's see what happens. Not quite as dark as I, I wanted, but I love the color. So I'm just going to go liven up this, this, these shadows a little bit. Bring a little bit of light into those shadows. That's nice. see what I'm talking about with the optical blending again. I'm not blending these colors. I'm not blending them to make them smooth. I'm just layering one color next to another in such a way, and, and what I call baby steps, so that your eye blends them. And it creates, it creates its, own, its own sort of optical blend. So that's kind of nice. I think what I'd like to do is I want to do one more transition into the, I want to mix like a, like an orange Pink. Let's see with the dress. <laughs> Need to be redder. Okay, there we go. See, that's a little too bright. So I'm gonna do a little bit of green into that because the dominant color there is red. So the green is the complement. You can see how that knocks that down. Pretty. Now, is that gonna be what I want though? Yeah. Okay. This will be another transition over into my lights. So I'm painting this right sort of next to that orange. That's, the, that's part of that baby step stuff I'm talking about. Help me with this transition. Cool. Okay, that's doing it. Doing it. You know, I'm, I'm gonna paint a, I'm gonna paint a bigger swatch of this here. Maybe a bigger swatch of it there too. Maybe a bigger swatch of it there too. Okay. Background's still looking pretty good. I'm not crazy about the shadow shape. So let me try something here on the shadow shape. I'm going to mix up a... Oh, I'll go back into this since we've already got it. <coughs> Very blue. So I'm going to put some orange back in there to gray it down. Oh dear. I might have done too much. Pretty color, but not what I want. I don't think. Let's see. Some no, nah, it's too green. I can tell you right now. So let's go back into that. Degreen that. There we go. That's better. I want it. You want it, Whenever you're mixing stuff like this, you want to be careful not to mix too many colors because then it can get really muddy. So you want to try to mix maximum. Of what I probably I probably got three colors in there now. You want to try to stay in that three color, four color range. You start putting, mixing seven colors in there, and then it can go, it can go muddy on you really, 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 really quick. So, let's see. That's a great color, if I do say so. So I'm gonna come in and try to tie these shadow shapes together a little bit because it's it's become a little too chalky for me.
too much, so I'm going to cut in on some of these light shapes. That's better. Oh, where'd that green come from? Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so I am. I'm simplifying. I'm trying to tie my shadow shapes together. Better shape? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's simplify the light of the dress too now. <clears throat> uh, let's see, the lights on the dress are red and green. So let's go back to this. I'm going to run out of white here. <clears throat> Get some more white on there. Okay. Remember, this is just red and white, so it's going to go really, really pink. So I'm going to pink up with a little bit of orange. And then I'm going to cool that down with just a little bit of green. I'm going to use the complement. I could use blue, too, but I'm, I'm, I'm using green right now. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to see. That's just a little skin tone. That's, that's, that's not what I'm going for. So... Let's make it more yellow. Now, when I added yellow in there, now if I want to gray that down, I would go into the purple. Knock, knock that down a little bit purple. And if it goes too dark, see that's, I'll put that color in here. Now if it goes too dark, I can add some white into that to lighten it up. Does that lighten it up enough? Maybe not. Lighten it up again. <clears throat> okay. Let's try this. I'd still like it to be yellow. There we go. Oh, I just slung paint on the floor. Don't tell it. Okay, there we go. So now let's come in with our with our lights. Simplified. We have another person who just joined in stream uh, asking what kind of paint you're using. <laughs> I'm using acrylic Liquitex paint. Yes? Perfect. Okay. You can see, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to break this up. More interesting, I think. This is what one of the things I wanted to show today too was the, the layering aspect. And you've seen the layers build up, build up, build up. But all the, I'm, I'm trying to every time I put a layer on, my rule of thumb is is I try to let a little bit of the previous layer show through, so I'm not ever totally covering up the entire painting. So all the little stuff that I've done up to now is trickling through, even though I've gone back in and simplified, you know, the lights and shadows a little bit. There's still a lot of everything on there that I put on there. I'm going to change this. I've been happy with this. Okay. So let's change that color. That's better. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. 
Now what I want to do is I want to adjust the background even more. I can see three more things. I want to adjust the background a little bit more. I want to add one more bit of lights to the light on the dress. And I want to go back in and bring a little bit of color back out into the shadow. So I'm going to do three more things. Um, so I'll go back into the background since it's been, it's had a chance to dry a little bit. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, I want to redraw. Some things you just don't know until you get into it. You know what you're what you're what you're going to see, what you're going to want to do. That's why I don't try to have it too planned out at the beginning. I mean, enough so that I sort of have a path and I know where I'm going, but um, not enough to ruin the spontaneity. That's better. That's better. I like that orange. It's kind of fun. Okay, I got away from what I was doing, which was background. Okay, so the background, I think I like it, but I still think I'm going to go even a little bit lighter. I might just have to go pure white. Um, let's put some pure white on there just to see what happens. Let's see what that looks like. Pretty strong now. Let's uh, let's well, maybe is that still wet? I think that the background is just as important as the object. So I think the background should be interesting in its own right. That you should be able to look at the ground and enjoy looking at the ground as, as well. So I'm going to try to leave some of these brush strokes so it makes it have its own character. See, that's adding. That's adding. OK. But let's pull that down a little bit. See, that's going to be just that's pretty baby blue. I'll put some of that. So let's um, put some orange into that. And some more white into that. The paint's getting a little stiff here. There we go. See, that's so much more interesting. Look at that. OK. OK. So what else I put? I wanted to come down here and have a little more fun. What do I do up here? dry in here. Way more interesting. Yes, I think so. Okay, let's go back into the dress. Let me do the shadows. It's going to bring us a little bit of color back into the shadows. I, I tied them all together, but now I'm going to come back in with, see if I can do this. We're almost there. Hang in there. 
almost there. Um, shadows. Okay. Let's see, it's like a blue cream. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go in here. And we're going to do a, a dark sort of blue green. Let's add a little orange into that. Is that going to be too light, though? Uh, it might be just a little bit. That's pretty. Okay. So what we're going to do is just want to bring a little bit of glow back into the shadows. Kind of how we kept it up there, which is pretty nice. I don't want to do too much. I just want to enliven that shadow up a little bit. That's cool. That's working. Uh, let's see. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, that's good. That's plenty. All right, let's lighten up the dress. And we're going to go with a bigger brush because I want to really hit some big bold strokes. And we're going to have enough light. Hopefully, this will do it. We can get some good lights in the Now, don't just be looking at this painting. Be, be looking at this. This is really the lessons in it about mixing. All these colors have been mixed from the primaries and the secondaries, okay? So, and, and been put on there. But this, this is really, I think, the interest. This is probably more interesting than this, I think. But to, 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 make, the, to make the point. I think I'm going to go one more light here. Let's see. Yeah, that added a little. That's good. There we go. There we go. I'd go one more highlight, probably, with just pure white. I don't know if I can do it because the thing's really, really wet. But let's try it. I forgot to bring a hairdryer. All right, let's, let's do it here. Maybe I won't go pure white. Get a little bit of that. Okay. And all I want is I just want like I want to highlight right there. I want to highlight up here. I want to highlight right here. There we go. Okay. I think we got it. I think that's enough. Yes? Yeah. So thank you guys for being with me here today. Remember, there is the code uh, DAVID30, and that will get you 30% off of any Liquitex paint between now and the end of day of Monday, in, right? In a business day Monday. Um, my art website is davidlimwright.com. Uh, my Instagram is at davidlimwright. And my business website is createanyway.today, and that's where I have all of my classes my books for sale on there. So there's a bunch of places you can go to, to find me. So I'd like to thank Eddie and Art Central. I'd like to thank Liquitex. And I'd like to thank everybody for joining me today. So, so long. Great. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> cool.